So I watched the first three episodes of the Suicide Squad Isekai anime, and it's actually pretty lit. I'm not caught up to any cinematic universe. I haven't even watched the Suicide Squad movies, but I've seen the trailer, so I know the general premise, and the anime basically follows that to a T. You know, isekai Joker and Harley are caught lacking after a robbery gone wrong, but only Harley gets captured and taken to jail. Amanda Waller, leader of Argus, is opening up portals to other worlds because resources. They implant bombs in Harley and four other inmates, Clayface, Deadshot, King Shark, and Peacemaker, sending them to this other world with Agent Adam to gather these resources for a reduced sentence. But if anyone goes rogue... <laughs> Of course, after they land, they immediately lose their babysitter. Then they get captured and taken to jail again, but in a different world, where they meet Rick Flagg, another person previously sent by Waller. Also, they're in a race against time. They get back to the ship they landed on because their neck bombs have a distance monitor. To be honest, I think IGN's 7 out of 10 ranking is spot on. The plot isn't one of one insanely unique. It's the comedy of the main cast and their dynamic dynamics that keep you engaged. Plus, Wit is going crazy with the art and direction. The action scenes, oh my gosh, talk about motion. Don't jump the shark, but I think DC has a future with superhero anime. Did I mention the soundtrack sounds like if Adam West Batman had a baby with Cowboy Bebop? Yeah.